welcome back to my channel. So Napoleon Purtis, which is a brand that I've loved for years and years and years, were kind enough to send me a bunch of new products to try. So we're going to try them out on camera today and see what we think of them. And then I can give you guys a really honest review of what I think of them because it will be the first time that I'm using them. So I'm not really sure how this makeup's going to turn out. I will do a full tutorial, so we will use other brands as well, just depending on what I do. But, not sure how it's going to turn out, I guess we'll just go with it and we'll jump right into the tutorial. So if you guys want to see um, some first impressions on some new products, then please keep on watching. So first I'm going to prime my skin using the Autopilot Pre-Foundation Skin Primer. Now they didn't actually send me this one, I've used this one for quite a while now, you've seen it in a bunch of other videos. It's a really, really good primer, it's got a vitamin E and chamomile extract in it, so it feels really, really smoothing on the skin. And it does really do a great job of keeping your foundation in place. This one I definitely know I've loved. Oh, it really does feel, it nearly feels cooling on the skin. It's really, really nice and soothing. Next up, I'm going to use the Napoleon Autopilot, what is this, Pore Minimizer and Mattifier. Once again, I've had this one for quite a little while. Brandon actually bought this for me, I think about two years ago for a birthday, so... This one obviously is a pore minimizer, so I'm only going to be popping this one really on the center of my face here, just where I've got enlarged pores. And it is brown, so don't mind if it gives my skin a little bit of a color. It's very similar in texture to the Benefit Professional. This feels really smooth. I think it's got a silicon base. It has to have a silicon base, because why else would it <laughs> have this soft, smooth feeling? Next up, I'm going to use the new uh, Stroke of Genius Liquid Cashmere Foundation. So this one is an SPF 20, and that's pretty much all I know about it at this stage. It comes in this really cool little tube, so it's like squeezy, and then it's got like the brush on the end. And so you don't actually need a foundation brush, you can just use this to apply the product. So I've got look three, um, I'm hoping, yeah, it's the right color. I was going to say, I haven't tested the color yet, so... Just gonna go directly in and apply this to my face. Oh, it's actually the perfect color for me. They did well. <laughs> this brush is quite soft and it's very easy to work with. Um, if you didn't want to use a separate foundation brush, you could definitely get away with it. For me today, I am gonna use a brush just because I find them a lot easier to work with. And well, I'm here in my makeup room, so we've got them available to us. But certainly if you're traveling, you could definitely get a really nice base with that. So I'm buffing this one all into the skin. It seems like it is going to be a really full coverage foundation because I didn't really apply too much and as you can see it's already really really building up sort of on the skin but without looking cakey at all really like it also very very easy to blend out like it it's taking me pretty much no time to blend this out. I'm now going to go in and fill in my brows. I'm not going to bother filming that and going through it because you guys have seen me do it a thousand times, but I will link my full brow tutorial in the description bar below. Okay, so the brows are on. I'm now going to go in and start on the eyes. So starting with my MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pot. This is Soft Ochre. I'm just going to use this to prime my lids. So all of the shadows that I'm using today are from this Prismatic Eye Shadow Quad. And this one is number five. I'll just get it out of the box. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous with Napoleon. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that, you know, they're on point with their packaging. So the packaging is... Oh, we just lost a brush. The packaging is this clear plastic and then it's got like the gold emblem. And then inside you've got two applicator brushes. But one of mine fell out. So two applicator brushes and then four different really, really beautiful sort of shimmery metallic shades. These do come in a bunch of different colors. I think they've got like 15 different options or something like that. So there's certainly going to be a palette that'll suit your skin tone. And I think they go from, you know, really dark sort of colors for nights out to more daytime wearable shades. So starting off with the lightest color from the palette, I'm going to take that on a MAC 239. And I'm going to use this one on my brow bone as a highlight. Next up, I'm going to take this, I don't know, what would you call that? A pinky beige? I'm going to pick that one up on a Sigma E35 blending brush. And I'm going to work that one 
through the socket. They're quite pigmented and very easy to blend out. Me likey. <laughs> I'm going to do a bit of a two-toned lid using the two uh, darker colours from the palette. So first I'm going to pick up this really gorgeous... It's like a dark purple, but it's got a really pretty sort of pink shimmer through it. And I'm taking that on a Sigma E58. I'm going to be applying this to the outer third of the eye and the inner third. Blending it all the way up into the crease there because we are going to go back with a blending brush and sort of smoke out that crease as well. And then also on the inner part of the lid there. Now I'm going to take that lighter mauve shade and I'm going to place that right on the centre of the lid. So as I've told you guys I think probably a thousand times before, Placing a lighter shade directly on the center of the lid will pull the light to this area and pull focus to the area. It kind of helps to make your eye appear like it's protruding more and then that in turn makes it look larger. So it's a really good trick for those of you that have got very little eyes and even for those of you that have hooded lids as well. Just using dabbing motions now just to blend those two colors together, the, the lighter mauve and the darker purple. Now I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and I'm just going to repeat exactly what we've done on the top of the lid there to the lower lash line. So starting off with the lighter colour this time, blending it just through the centre of the lower lashes. And feel free to drag this one down a little bit further than you normally do because um, I'm sort of also going for more of a rounded eye shape as opposed to a cat eye. And then taking the darker colour just through the corners there. Now I'm going to go back in with a smaller brush now and pick up that lighter shimmery colour and place that on the inner tear ducts as a highlight and then we'll get into the blending. So using that original brush that we used through the socket and the champagne sort of rose colour, picking up a tiny little bit more of that and I'm going to start working backwards and forwards through the crease there to really blend those shadows out. And they do blend very easily, so you're not going to have to be some kind of expert at makeup to be able to make these shades work for you. I'm going to add a very, very thin line of eyeliner across the tops of the lashes now, but just keeping it very, very close to the base of the lashes. So this is the Napoleon Pettis Neo Noir Liquid Liner in Black. Okay, so we're ready for mascara now, so I'm going to use the Napoleon Pertis Mesmerize Mascara. So this is a, it's got a funny little wand, it's like a flat comb, and then one side of it has got like uh, small little bristles that are more widely spaced apart, and then the other side are finer bristles that are closer together. So you can obviously use it to, um, you know, build up different types of volume or length, depending on what look you're going for. Okay, I'm now going to go in and apply some false lashes. These are the Red Cherry 415s, and they're just a really natural flirty lash. Very lightweight and um, very comfortable to wear as well. Now that those are on, I'm going to finish the look by lining the waterline with a nude coloured pencil. This is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Coal Pencil in number 5 Nude. And that really helps to brighten the eyes up quite a bit. So I don't actually have a Napoleon Pettis concealer, so I'm just going to use my regular MAC Pro Longwear. I'm just going to use this to do a little bit of highlighting under the eyes. To be honest, that foundation is absolutely gorgeous and so full coverage that I don't really even need concealer. It's covered pretty much everything. So that is a major plus for me. I'm going to use the Models Prefer. This is the number 104 airbrush concealer to apply this. And I'm just using it directly under the eye area. And then patting it 
gently into the skin. I'm now just going to set all of that makeup in place using my Ben Nye Banana Powder because I also don't have a Napoleon powder, sorry. This one is just like a holy grail of mine pretty much and it never fails me. Sorry guys, I did just realise that the foundation does explain a little bit about it on the side of the box. So it says, easy to apply liquid that offers medium, oh they call this medium coverage. See I would call this full coverage, I guess it's buildable from medium to full. It's got soft focus spheres that help minimise the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And it also increases radiance and dials down darkness and shadows. What I might do is pop some links to these products in the description bar below so that you can read about them on their website. Okay, moving on to the cheeks, I'm going to be using the Napoleon Pettis Ultimate Contour Palette. So this one is like a trio and it looks like that's similar to the other packaging. It's a trio that's got a highlight shade, a blush and a bronzer all in one. So once again, this is just perfect for traveling. So I'm going to start with the bronzer for the contour and I'm using a MAC 109. I'm going to start working that into the hollows of my cheekbones. That's a really, really nice contour color actually. It's completely matte as well, which obviously makes it perfect for contouring. And it's more of a natural shadow as opposed to a real full-on bronzy glow. I'm going to use this one around my temples now. How nice is that? Really like it. It's also very easy to blend out. Like This is pretty much taking minimal effort from me right now. Okay, now I'm going to take the blush shade from the palette just using the same brush. I'm going to use the flat top end of the brush. And I'm going to place this one onto the apples of my cheeks and blend it up towards the hairline. Oh, that's a really nice universal colour too. That would look gorgeous on any skin tone. This might be my favourite. <laughs> it's buildable too, so if you want a really full-on strong cheek, you could certainly achieve it using this blush. I'm just sort of going for... You know, somewhere between natural and not natural. I'm now going to take the highlighting shade using my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. And I'm going to sweat. Oh, that is really, really pigmented. It's so pretty. It's actually quite similar to MAC Soft and Gentle in the finish that it leaves on the skin. I don't know if you can see that there on the camera. It's really pretty. It's very pigmented too, so you really don't need much. You only really need the tiniest little bit. I am very impressed. Moving on to the lips now, I'm going to line using the Napoleon Pettis Lip Line in Nude Awakening. These are very, very smooth and creamy when you're applying them. I've had this one for a little while now. Uh, and it is a favorite for freelancing too, actually. And then to finish off the lips, I'm going to use one of the Divine Goddess lipsticks. So this one is in the colour, where is it? Hess. Oh, nearly dropped it. So the packaging is just as gorgeous as all the other packaging. It features a clear plastic tube. And then the actual lipstick is, um, you know, the inside of the lipstick is gold. And it's also got the colour right there down the bottom. Which I actually think is actual lipstick which is good which means you know when you're trying to find a color the bottom of the packaging is very accurate to what the shade is it's got a cute little gold butterfly on it too so Hess is a darker sort of more pinky toned nude and it's got a slight slight shimmer to it And that completes the makeup look. I love the way that all of these colors work together. I think the eyes are really pretty and, you know, they'd be totally suitable for a date night, even a night out. And obviously because you've got four colors in this palette, you can mix and match and create a whole bunch of different looks with it. You could do something really neutral for daytime and like I've done here, you can also really amp it up for nighttime. I'm very, very happy with the foundation. I would call it a full coverage. They call it a medium coverage, but... Yeah, it's, it's covered all of my blemishes, it's colored all of my acne scarring, and it's also done a really good job of filling in the pores in the central areas of my face. Like, you can't really see them 
um, much at all. Obviously these lights are quite harsh, but in you know natural lighting you wouldn't really be able to see them. Very smooth and the color matches my neck perfectly. So we did a good job of choosing my color with that one. The contour palette I am obsessed with. That is my perfect cheek pretty much. It's very um it's very natural. Like I've applied it quite naturally, but you really could do a really harsh contour look with it if you wanted. You could also go with more blush or more highlighter or whatever you wanted. They're very, very buttery, obviously very, very pigmented, like I said. And just yeah, really easy to work with. So if you're if you're more of a beginner with makeup, something like this is perfect. And obviously, because it's all in one, it's great for traveling as well. And I really love this lipstick too. It feels very comfortable on the lips. I've only applied one very thin layer and it's nearly at full opacity. And I like how it's a nude, but it's also got a slight shimmer to it. Nothing sort of bold or in your face, so you're not gonna look, you know, kind of crazy. But um yeah, it's a really, really pretty color and it feels light on the lips and it also feels very moisturizing. So as an overall, I absolutely love all of the products that I used in this video today. Napoleon is a high-end makeup brand, so it is obviously a little bit more pricey than, um, you know, your more affordable brands. But I think for what you're paying for and what you get, it's definitely worth it. The pigmentation of all of their products is really fantastic and the consistency is also really great. So it makes them very, very easy to work with. All of the powders are very, very finely milled and easy to blend as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Do also let me know in the description bar below if you want to see more of these, you know, one brand tutorials or you know, first impressions and more reviews of new products that I'm trying because I am trying a lot of new products every week so I can update you um, quite regularly on that kind of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye! All of the focus on these beautiful rainbow eyes rather than the rest of the face. So that completes the makeup look today guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I love, love, love the way this one turned out. I'm a big fan of colour and if you're going to use a colour, why not use them all together at once? <laughs> Certainly doesn't bother me. This is something that you could really pair with a, you know, a little black dress on a night out and it just really would contrast so well and just look really, really amazing. So for my Aussie girls, if you're wanting to get your hands on this palette, I have got a website linked below where you can get it. And it's nearly for exactly the 